<laughs> I'm curious about how your. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what time it is? It's Q and A time. First, I am parched. Black cherry. I love this stuff. I'm pretty stoked. I've been working on setting up my music and film studio in a way that I'd have a good backdrop. So I feel like I've landed on it. Yeah, I love a good question. I'm actually a naturally very curious person. And when I'm getting to know somebody, I like to ask them a lot of questions so I can get a sense of who they are and to understand and appreciate their world more. In this case, I thought I'd turn the tables. About a month ago, I put out a request for you guys to ask me any questions you have. And here I am, it's time to answer them. How do you stay focused? I wish that I was focused easily and often. The truth is, is that it kind of comes and goes in cycles. Sometimes I'll sit down and I'll be able to stay focused for hours on end easily. And other times I feel like it's everything I can do just to stay in my chair. What I do know though, is I've figured out over time that as long as I show up, even on the days where I'm not necessarily feeling it, I'm gonna come up with something good. The time that I put in to be diligent about it and to be disciplined pays off. If you weren't producing your stellar music and touring, what would you most likely be doing for a normal day job? Uh, first, thank you. I don't know that I ever wanna go back to a day job. I mean, never say never, but uh, it would not be in my highest excitement right now. But I love photography and video. It's just something I am so passionate about right now. So if I wasn't doing music at all, I would probably be doing something with a camera, either photo or video or both. And as it turns out, I'm now gonna be ma regularly making these videos. So I'm already starting to do it anyway. You have some of the most hypnotic meditative styles out there. Thank you. Is this by chance or did you create this somehow? Um, well, I definitely created it. I've never sat down with the explicit intent to try and make music that's meditative or hypnotic. I think my style more than anything just comes from the confluence of my influences and the things that I gravitate towards, like my aesthetic and the emotions that I'm trying to evoke. And that comes out in a way that you might experience somehow as meditative or hypnotic. I love this. Are you ticklish? Yes, very. I'm curious about how you prepare yourself when you're about to start creating. Do you have a spiritual practice that is part of your creative process? I don't have a practice that is explicitly spiritual. Sometimes I'll literally get an idea and I'll just jump right into my seat and follow the thread as far as it'll go. If there is anything that I have that would be like a practice before I make music, it would be my morning routine. When I wake up, I drink 24 ounces of water with Himalayan salt and lemon. Then I'll do about 15 minutes worth of Wim Hof breath work. Then I'll do workouts, which are usually either kettlebell or hit workout. And then I'll have breakfast and then I'll get right to making music. I do my morning routine almost every morning, whether I'm creating or not. So it's not specifically for my music making process, but I think it does help get me in a mental and physical and emotional state where I feel most likely to pull through whatever the universe has to offer that day and create. Is there a specific composer or artist that made you think, I need to make music, or did it just flow out of you one day? Um, neither, really. It didn't just flow out of me one day. I earned the ability to make the music that I make through a lot of hours spent through trial and error. It did not initially come naturally for me. At an early age, I fell in love with music. It was something that helped me get in touch with my emotions. And most of the music that I liked, even when I was young, was electronic. Um, I still don't know exactly why, that's just always captured my attention, it's captivated me. Over time, I started making music as a way to create what I was having a harder and harder time finding as a DJ. And then that eventually turned from a DJ career into a career as a producer and a musician. Have you ever thought about composing music for a video game? I could imagine listening to your music in a futuristic cyberpunk game. Thank you. Um, I would love that, but I've never really actively pursued it. It's something I would love to do though. So if you have any ideas or connections to a video game being produced that might be a good fit for my music, let me know. What's the process when collaborating with another artist? An example would be with Joe Muscatello on the track Congruence. My favorite way to collaborate is where we both get together ideally in person in the same physical space and we write a whole bunch of different ideas based on a theme. We just we come up with way more ideas than you could ever fit into one song. And then my favorite thing to do is the person I'm collaborating with takes that project and I take it and we each make our own independent version with all of the pieces that we made together. That way we get two songs out of the effort of writing one. And the thing I like about that is that for me, the arrangement of of the song is one of the most personal parts of creating music to me. And this way I get to 
orchestrate the song from beginning to end and really tell a story as it feels most alive and emergent for me. Your subconscious album was a masterpiece. Thank you. Uh, I can see your evolution as an artist as I have listened to your music over the years. Have you ever had the desire to return to that style or revisit that type of creation in any new work? I have thought about it a lot. The biggest thing that currently gets in my way is basically my own self-limiting beliefs, and that is that anymore, most of the music that I make is really more intentionally designed for the dance floor, which really started with the album Kinetic. That's why I gave it that name. It was a signpost stating my intention to make music that was more kinetic in nature. Most of the music on Subconscious, I absolutely love. I mean, some of my favorite songs that I've written are on that album. It's also much more mellow and chill. And the idea of coming out with a whole album that was much more mellow, most of which I couldn't really play on the dance floor, uh, doesn't feel exciting. However, for several years, I've really wanted to do some kind of follow-up to subconscious, maybe unconscious or even conscious. So hopefully I'm just gonna get over my own story that it wouldn't be the best move for the direction my music has gone so far and just make a follow-up because I agree, I would love to do that too. Name a movie of any genre you enjoy. Uh, Interstellar. Um, Christopher Nolan in general is just such an amazing creator of films. I love his work. I love the way that story is told. I love that it explores a bunch of different complex and nuanced ideas and the way that it explores the human psyche. That's definitely up there. It's one of my top favorite films. What are you doing for your own self-care? Um, aside from the morning routine, which I'm fairly religious about, um, as boring as it sounds, it's actually getting a good night's rest for almost two decades, I've had a career that's kind of predicated on not getting a lot of sleep, you know, waking up too early and going to bed too late. When I wake up after a good night's sleep, I feel so charged and energized. I just like my body and my mind and my spirit all function at a higher capacity. <laughs> Will you marry me? Thank you. I'm flattered. Um, my attention is currently arrested on somebody who will remain nameless for the time being, but uh, I am as otherwise preoccupied. Uh. <laughs> when you first appeared on the scene, you brought a level of mojo that was both necessary and imperative. Thank you. Where do you get such inspiration from? I think what you're calling mojo is probably just my authentic enthusiasm for being an artist, you know, to create something that didn't exist and then get together with people and share it physically and emotionally with people and get to see and feel and get reflected to me the impact that the things that I create have on people's lives. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of freaking enthusiasm about that. And I would imagine that might occur to you as mojo. <laughs> when you were little, what did you want to do when you were all grown up? Uh, two things. One, because I was so moved by music and I was mostly exposed to music that was on the radio at that time, I wanted to be a singer because I thought that would be a, wee a way for me to do the thing that I loved so much. The other thing is that uh, I loved Spider-Man as a kid. I watched that cartoon every day that it was on. And when I grew up, I wanted to be a scientist so that I could invent a spider that would bite me and I would become Spider-Man. Do you have any particularly favorite plugins that you use for making music? Uh, I do. Um, I primarily produce with Logic, although I also use Ableton sometimes, but my Desert Island plugin would definitely be Omnisphere. Uh, it comes with something like over 8,000 presets, and it has such a high hit rate for presets that already sound really good just out of the box that you can then customize and shape. I love it. I know you love music. What are some other things that you're passionate about? Right now, photography and video, and just cameras in general. I've invested in the Sony ecosystem, but I just, almost every day I'm picking up my camera because I wanna film something or I wanna go out and take photos. It's become the new lens that I see the world through, literally, and um, it lights me up. That's why I'm gonna start incorporating more of the art that I create with my cameras. Uh, these videos, for example, and photography are gonna be more a part of the things that I create as an artist potentially even just under the name Future Primitive, because why stop with just music? I mean, film and music go together well, so there you go. Your music evokes such an empowered stance towards life in me. Besides making music, what inspires you to live life with the vitality and aliveness that your music suggests? Uh, thank you, that's amazing. Um, I think, again, it's the enthusiasm that I have for being able to create for a living. I feel like most of us all know that music is medicine. Music has the capacity to heal. It has put me in contact with so many different emotions that I think I otherwise would have suppressed as a kid. 
And as an adult, it's not just getting to hear music, but the process of creating music is also a healing experience. I mean, to be able to create something out of thin air that didn't exist and then be able to sit back and enjoy it and to be able to get together with other people and enjoy it is just, it's exhilarating, it's enlivening. And uh, I think that would probably be where I get that vitality from. Tell me what is it that inspires you to create such amazing music? I'm inspired by your music when I create art, for example. Uh, thank you. Um, I love it when art inspires art. It feels like the ultimate positive feedback loop. I'm inspired by all kinds of things. I'm inspired by other art, whether it be poetry or visual art or music, uh, architecture. The primary thing that I'm inspired by is emotion. My music is very emotionally driven. I'm usually looking to either try and create a song that evokes a memory from my past or to create a song that evokes an emotion of an experience I haven't had yet but would like to or can just simply create or fantasize about in my mind. That's usually the biggest source of inspiration for me. All right, we did it. That's the Q&A. I really enjoyed this, so we're definitely gonna do it again. Thank you for your questions. I'm a huge fan of curiosity, and as somebody who's naturally curious, it feels good to have questions aimed in my direction, um, and it feels good to connect with you. So thank you, and I'll see you again soon. Ciao. That's the Q&A. Um... <laughs> do you have any particularly favorite plugins? I don't know. Name it. Uh... <clears throat> I love it. There you go. <clears throat> That's epic.